so how did i find rangde um, i think it was somewhere around 2014 uh, when i came across a social media post um, which talked about rangde's mission and what rangde was doing i then went went to their website you know understood more um, that it was about giving somebody a loan to help them with their business or with their income uh, instead of just giving them uh, a donation and that kind of resonated more with me that uh, you know where there is an obligation of that person to return the money so they really need to you know uh, put in some effort a lot of times just giving a donation doesn't make them self sustaining and i think that kind of worked more with me um, because that's something that i also believe in i want to you know work with people to teach them how to do something rather than just give them the answer so that worked with me and you know also their transparency so around 2014 about 8 years back is when i started the you know investing we are on the social investing is where we are you know enabling somebody to be on their own and we are not kind of burdening them with extra cost or extra interest that's what means to me i think it's it's about where i can invest a little bit of my capital without really looking at uh, any um, income out of that uh, when i enable somebody and i can still get my capital back uh, that's what the whole concept of social investing means to me i think uh, rangde has always been uh, very very transparent and very open about what they do um we are you know very very uh, very clear on what the objectives are what the mission is um how they use the money uh, that is you know being given to, to them uh, what is the um, the impact of that right so uh, when somebody invests in in a particular investee how that money benefits them is very clearly communicated back so that's something very very nice about run day since i made an impact let me make a little bit more impact kind of my journey with run day has continued i think as of now that's the only social cause that i support so if there is any extra money that i have that i need to donate then that basically flows through run day uh, right uh, so just because of the transparency i think it's the um, it's the ability to choose um, <clears throat> where the impact needs to go you know so if if i am putting a certain amount of money i i have the ability to say okay i want this person to benefit from it or this cause to benefit so i have a lot more control over the impact that i want to make it's just not uh, about giving the money and letting somebody else decide uh, <clears throat> the impact that that money will make you know that's something i i choose a lot of times to read the the story read why somebody wants the money um why they need it um and then you know pick up and say okay i will you know help this person uh, through their uh, crisis by providing them the capital that they need we as you know people are living in cities we are all privileged we have a lot of um, you know excess capital sitting with us we are investing in various channels uh, you know a lot of times we are just investing to save tax even if you channel you know a small 5 10% of that to social investing you are actually helping somebody get out of the whole uh, death the loan loop uh, you know you helping somebody uh, stand up on their own feet you know if they are able to free themselves up out of the loan loop they are self sufficient that then you know helps that person grow uh, i think that's a good cause for you to kind of spare a little bit of money uh, 
and then that also obviously helps the the overall environment that we are living in right so if if we have more people who are on their own and able to sustain um, out they come out of the the shadow economy they come out in the you know they become part of the main economy that helps the the country overall also and otherwise it's it's a you know it's a feel good that you know, this person i had that person i didn't lose anything out of it maybe you know, a little bit of interest but otherwise 